my first visit to Mets and, and quite honestly quite gobsmacked by it. Expected it to be a, a sleepy small hamlet, turned out to be a nice little city bustling with a certain kind of calm, very French but very cosmopolitan. So you see people from all nationalities on the streets of Metz and I've thoroughly enjoyed myself. It's been quite li life altering in many ways. Metz is a little town, but uh, a little club too, but with big, big, big value. And uh, we try to make, uh, to, uh, to build some men, some real good men. And with the football, we use football for build this individuality. It's an opportunity I've been waiting for for a really long time. And since the time I've been playing football, I've always wanted to be playing in a place like Europe, you know. Amazing weather, amazing players, amazing pitch, uh, pitches and everything. So, um, I'm just really happy to, to be here and it's been a, a life-changing experience for me. I think I'm really, very, very, very happy, very pleased. You know, all the boys, 14, 15, 16, the kind of system they are in, you know, it's a proper system where they're under 15, under 17, under 19. Every boy, you know, gets a chance to improve themselves and get to the next level. A lot of coaches, different different age groups have different different coaches. They all in sync. They sit together. They talk about the players. I think this is the kind of system which every club, you know, in all over the world, takes and happens. Which doesn't happen back home in India, which is a shame. And it, it, it's not there yet. But I think this is the exact way how you train kids, how you how you make them better players every day. We we try to help every players to to have uh, the, to, to to attain the best of themselves. So. It's not, we we not make a difference between French people and Indian people for the education. We are the same thing to everybody. So it's always a difficult decision, you know, sending your child away. But once I was sure that um, his, he would be taken care of in every way, his mental health, his psychological health, his physical health is the most obvious one. And that he would grow, you know, the growth has to be holistic. This entire experience is about adaptability, about empathy, about leadership, about selflessness, about being able to be uh, distinguished enough to take certain decisions about being responsible and I think those are fantastic values to, to sort of inculcate in, in children at such impressionable ages. For instance, my son is 14. I was really impressed man. Yesterday, you know, when I've, I've gone and met a lot of kids under 15, under 14 and when I see them, they are very timid, they are very shy, they don't speak. But when I was here, all the boys were very confident, you know, right from the way they shake hands and they look into your eyes, when they are very mannered, they know exactly what they are speaking. They are quiet when I'm talking, they are listening. All these things are very, very important. That means they are aware and they understand what, what they are here for. And they, that all, think, all the things are going to transfer onto the field and they're going to be better players. Their eyes are always like this. Their ears are always like this. Because they want everything. They want to know. They want to learn. Always, always. I know it's not very easy to be here alone. Because the family is in India. Sometimes it could be very hard to be here, and sometimes I have, I have the I want to have the relation like like a father, a little father. But it's necessary to to improve that the guy are good by himself, good health, good mind. Okay, and I love the guys. I've learned a lot, you know, when it comes to movement on the ball and off the ball, which is something that you know we don't really pay attention in India too much when it comes to off the ball. So uh, I'm really happy, uh, uh, you know, I'm, I'm here because uh, there are a lot of little things, a lot of parts of the game that I wouldn't have seen when I was in India that now I see every day in every game. See, already the half work is done because they are under a good system. The best thing is they are not treated differently over here. The last thing that I wanted to see uh, is the, uh, the, the, the Mets players playing differently, the Canadian players, and these boys treated differently. That would have been a disaster. Number two, when I, when I trained with them today, I was very happy to see the one touches, the understanding between the boys, and they're doing the basic right. And a lot of times when you see a lot of kids go to do the fancy stuff more, which is not very good in, in, in a long-term basis. It was good to see them talking to each other. It was good to see them backing up each other. Today is Sunday. It's a break. They will still use a the ground. There are five fields for the under 15, under 17, which is a great thing. You know, Tell me how many clubs in India have it. And I'm not even saying academy. I'm, I'm asking how many clubs do we have in our country who have five grounds to train on. I think these things are very important for these kids. You know, although I'm very, very happy for them, I'm a little bit jealous also. Because when I was young, I didn't get all these kind of things. We want to, to improve over all the personality. So the sociability, education, physical, and everything, everything, mentality, everything. Uh, no doubt the sports is at the centre of it, but then sports is like that. You don't grow unidimensionally. And that's the beauty of it. And I think Mets understands that. I think Eric understands that very well. And that's why, you know, it was important that he went, we went with this decision knowing that he was the force behind it. I think there is, there is a rigour 
and there is a sense of responsibility that Eric brings to this business and that is very very important and for a parent to entrust their child's future at the age of 14 to, a, to an individual I think smacks of the kind of confidence that I as a parent have in Eric's dream and his journey. We have a relation between Eric Benny with Indian player with Indian football station too uh, to build and to try to, have, to, to be at the beginning of something. We start something in India. We have one billion people. We have so many states, so many places in our country. So every state, if you can cover the whole country, where we can say proudly that you know, not a single kid can say that I didn't get a chance. So if every kid gets a chance of being in the system and trying his own trade and trying to improve, then we're going to get a better India in terms of football. And that is one of the most important things.